Okay, before we start today's video, I have to show you something because the frog in the tank has changed so much. So look at this. Sorry for the noise, the water's kind of low because I'm doing a water change, but look at that. He's almost a full frog now. It's pretty crazy, just like probably four days ago, he looked pretty much like he did in whatever time I showed you in the last video. But, um,. I'm gonna go ahead and take him out because I don't want him to like drown once he loses his lungs because amphibians have, uh, I mean gills, sorry. Amphibians have gills in the beginning of their life and then they change the lungs. So they start in the water and then they end up on land. Um, so I'm gonna try to take him out, put him in the pond. I hope he doesn't get eaten by the bass or anything, but he is kind of big so he may not be. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you putting him in. Okay, we're trying to get the frog out now. See if I can grab him and we'll throw him in the pond. Probably to be eaten. Come on, dude, this thing is slimy. Holy crap, dude. Now I don't want to see that They're like, before we go, like, you see his tail. He still has his tail. That's why I didn't want to just throw him outside, like, on the land. Because he'd probably die. But let's see, I'll stick him on this log right here. And we'll watch him jump in. <laughs> Look how dumb he looks. So you're not gonna jump? He's gonna like die of like drying out. Whoa, there he goes. Okay, he's in somewhere. Okay, so we made it to PetSmart. Um, as you can see from the title, they have a uh, five gallon or five and a half gallon uh, top fin essentials aquarium, which has like the hood and the light and the filter and everything that comes with it for 20 bucks here at PetSmart. It's on sale, so I'm getting that and we're gonna try to find a betta fish, but I'm walking around right now and I feel like they don't have betta fish anymore at all. I don't know what the heck happened, so we may have to go to like Bob's or something like that and pick up the betta fish, but I'm gonna pick up the tank and some of the substrate and stuff and then I'll show you that and then we'll get out of here. Okay, so we basically got top thinned out today. I got black gravel because I think that looks really good with beta fish and stuff. Some colors and stuff. Got some beta food. And we got our five and a half gallon top fin aquarium starter kit. So we're gonna go ahead and buy this and then go over to Bob's and I'll show you us setting it up for the house. Okay guys, so here it is. I don't know if you can see that, but um, let's see, five and a half gallons. Yeah, I was right. Uh, comes with turn it around um, hood, LED light, tank obviously, filter, um, new filter pads, a test vial kit. It's like so you can put water in it and take it to your local pet smart to get tested or whatever. But you don't really need that. Um, four inch net and a thermometer, which most aquariums don't come with thermometers, so that's cool. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, unbox all this and then show everything to you. So here's everything all laid out. Just like I said, it has all the parts. There's a little feeding window on the top, a little cut out there for the filter. What was really annoying is like the filter and stuff were in boxes inside here. They're attached to the glass with like this sticky stuff. And it does not like look at this. It does not want to come off. Okay. I'm gonna go get all this the rest of the sticky stuff out and wash out the tank real quick to make sure there's nothing bad in there and then we'll get it set up. go ahead and start setting this bad boy up um, as you can see it fits exactly perfectly for this little shelf thing I have right here I'm gonna go ahead and grab the hood and the light and undo this little cable as you know my other tank doesn't have a hood and it was really annoying to find lights that could work well with it so this is really nice that this comes with pretty much everything you need except fish and substrate and stuff like that. So this will plug right into there. Let's see if it works. And it's not turning on, so that's great. Let me see. So 
So I plugged in the hood light and it did not work. And I tried a different outlet as well and it still didn't work. So that's kind of a bad start to this whole thing. But we're going to keep going and I guess I can contact their customer service or something and see if I can figure it out. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Let's not plug it in even though it doesn't do anything. Then grab the filter. Undo the little twist tie again. That little filter I had to like kind of put together, this little part was off it, and like you can, as you can see, you can completely take out that section. And also, a good thing about this one is if you look on the very top right here, you can open and close this thing to adjust how much water you want going through. And with betta fish, you usually don't want that much water because they're from areas that don't have a lot of water flow, so that's good that we have that, and I can adjust it. So let's stick this filter on, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the light and just plug the filter in. Actually, I'm not going to plug the filter in until we get some water. Oh, and about that. If you're worried about me putting fish in it right away, because as you know, you need beneficial bacteria to start a fish tank so that your fish don't die, because they'll die if they don't have that. Usually. Sometimes like goldfish and stuff won't, but um, I'm going to fill it up with water from my other tank, and I'm also going to use some of the filter media from that tank as well. And that should be a good start to the beneficial bacteria. And I also have um, this starter stuff. I'll show you. We're really using everything top thin today, huh? But this is uh, some nitrifying bacteria starter. So this helps you get a kind of jump start your tank with uh, beneficial bacteria. So I'm going to be using this and also water from that tank and hopefully some filter media from that tank to uh, go ahead and start this one. And that should help a lot with. Um, the bacteria and helping the uh, beta fish stay real healthy. So now I'm going to go ahead and stick this thermometer in there. I'm going to stick it on this far left side facing towards me so I can see it well, but it won't. Hopefully it won't, uh, won't affect the uh, look of the tank very much. So there's the tank all set up. and. So as you might know, when you put gra first put gravel in the tank, like if it's new like this, like not from another tank you have or something, um, you don't want to just put it in there because there's like soot and stuff on the gravel, kind of like the gravel we had outside in the pond, and that'll get in your tank, and then you'll have to let your tank cycle for like days before it gets perfectly clear. So what you do is you put a hole in the top, just like that, big enough so the water from your uh, sink can get in there, and then you just go to the bottom and you poke little holes all in it. You don't want them to be big enough so the gravel can get out, but just little holes so the water can seep through. And then, put your nozzle up to it. You see the water coming out the bottom? You see this for like a minute or two, and that'll get a lot of that nastiness from the gravel out of your water. Okay guys, I swear I'm not making this up. I didn't even do anything. And the light turned on. Like, I went out, cleaned the gravel, came back in here, and the light of the tank is on. But I'm glad it's working and I don't have to go get another one. Let me see if the little on off switch works. Moment of truth. Wow, it works. Don't know how that happens. If you have any idea how that could have happened, let me know. But that's pretty crazy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the gravel in. Get the water, as you can see, that I siphoned out from this tank. Put that in there, and then we'll turn on the filter and see if it's working. Start pouring this in. There we go, we'll spread it out, make it even everywhere. And I don't know if I told you guys yet, but I'm going to get some uh, plants from my tank there because I have way too many. I'll put those in there as well, and then we'll start filling up with water. So this gives you a better idea how it's going to look because the light's actually reflecting off the gravel, but pretty happy so far. Now I'm going to go over here and grab some of these plants because as you can see, we have way too many. And we'll use some of these plants for that tank and see how it looks. 
So I got a few plants as you can see right here. I'm gonna go ahead and stick these in. And I know it doesn't look like much, but they'll grow a lot and end up looking a lot better. Kind of fill out the tank because betas really do like a lot of uh, foliage. And a lot of times they actually sleep on leaves, which is really cool. So hopefully I'll be able to see that eventually. And I can also take a video of that for you guys. But. Okay, the water is officially going in, as you can see right here. I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this for you guys so you can see what's going on, and then we'll see how it turns out. So as you can see, the tank is now pretty much full, almost all of the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the filter on and then we're gonna head to Bob's and pick up a betta fish. Okay, made it here to Bob's. As you can see, I'm about to walk in, see what kind of cool betas they have. Hopefully they have something really unique and interesting. And Guys, you would honestly not believe what just happened in there. So I picked out this little dude, beautiful little beta. And let me see if I can open this car quick, one sec. Okay, so I walk in there, looking at the beta fish. The dude that always talks to me was talking to me again. I don't know his name, it's not Bob, it's someone else, but he's there all the time. He's talking to me about 4th of July, like what I was doing and stuff, and I told him I'd work and everything. He bags up the fish for me, and he goes, um, have a safe and happy 4th of July. And I started to walk out, and I'm like, what the heck, I didn't even pay. I turned around, and I was like, I didn't pay. And he goes, have a safe and happy 4th of July. And I was like, but I didn't. He's like, have a safe and happy 4th of July. And he literally just gave me the fish. That's insane. I, like, I wasn't even filming. I filmed for like two seconds there. Like, it wasn't like to like have good publicity or anything like he was just being nice and really shout out to bobs like that's awesome that, that even the employees have the power to do that i think that's awesome like i really can't believe that so thank you bobs tribal fish that's insane i'll take good care of the fish i'll meet you back at home we can put this little dude in and hopefully we get some good uh footage of him see ya okay so the fish is in acclimating right now, as you can see. I'm gonna try to keep it a secret what he looks like until I actually put him in, because when you look through a fish through a bag, it doesn't do it justice. So we're gonna give this like about 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll stick him in and we'll do a little montage of him so you can see. So now that he's been temperature acclimated, we have to acclimate him to the parameters of the water, so like the pH and stuff. So. We put him in, he's in shock to that and doesn't die. So to do that, we're gonna undo the rubber band. So take the rubber band off. Open this up. And then we're gonna get a little bit of water from the tank and start filling it up in here so that he gets used to how this water is. And I'll come back once we're done with this. Okay, so we just finished acclimating him to the parameters. So now we're gonna actually put him in. Let me see if I can get you guys a good angle for this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna put the top on too so you can see him when he first goes in, otherwise it'll be too dark. And we're gonna stick this dude in. There he goes. Hopefully they'll go kind of behind that light so you can see a little better. There he is. There is the new beta.
No, oh, one last thing, you guys. A lot of people think because of how things are marketed and stuff that it's okay to put a beta in like a half gallon or gallon container or something, especially because you see them in the store and there's little like two cup things. But the reality of it is betas need a lot more space than that. People think that because they're from rice patties and it's really shallow, but even though it's shallow, they have a lot of space that they can move around. So please, if you get a beta, don't put it in something smaller than like three gallons or something. Preferably five, something like this is best. And um, like don't put any other fish with them because they'll get too crowded. So like with this one, I may put like some little ghost shrimp that are literally like a centimeter or two long in there and they just stay on the bottom so it wouldn't take up any of his space. But yeah, make sure you're not putting betas in anything really small because it's really stressful for them and they'll die a lot earlier because of it. Okay guys, it's later that night and the beta is doing really well. He's down there in the corner. Don't know how well you can see him, but I fed him earlier and he ate, so that means he's pretty comfortable and relaxed in there. So that's awesome, but that's officially all I have for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. I appreciate all of you guys. It really means a lot that you take the time out of your day to watch my videos. Please comment below whatever you think I should do next. And I hope you have a great day. Peace.